Hey everybody, I'm back with another video. I'm gonna try to finish this one here to, on this video. This is uh, the DC Connect book, and it's got everything. This will be part three. There's everything coming out in March. And then I gotta try to get to, I wanna try to get through the DC or Marvel one, because there's beautiful stuff in that as well. And just look how thicker that is. They, I did notice in DC's been trying to squeeze everything on a few page, less, less pages as possible. And Marvel has been like, like all their pages have been big full pages and everything like that. I think DC might be, uh, I don't know how they're doing financially and everything, but uh, some of the stories look pretty good. Some of them, I don't know. No. Just depends on what you want to read. Just like anything. So let's see what this looks like. Let's get some wild covers. We got Batman Gotham Knights, Gilded City number six. This one comes out um, March 28th. Wild cover there. It's a new character or some in game item. Games variant. I didn't know how that game went and everything. Um, wasn't sure. I heard good and bad. So here we go. You've seen the Gotham of the past and present as it is ravaged by the golden iris virus. Uh oh. Menaced. Menaced. Menaced by villains across time. Now, that sounds interesting. He said, I'm just now learning about this. And protected by its respective heroes. Now in this final pulse-pounding issue, see the story that has spanned centuries come to a close and bear witness to the events that lead to the hit game. Hmm. That's cool. And he said, each issue will also offer a code for readers to redeem in the Gotham Knights game. Okay, cool. Let me see what we got here. Here's another one. This one's Batman The Adventures Continue. Season three. Wild covers. Let me see. This one comes out March 14th. It says, The Joker's right-hand man, straight man, isn't quite feeling himself lately. He keeps experiencing moments. Okay, flashbacks. Of a life he doesn't remember. After a recent run-in with the clown prince and his stoic enforcer, Batman starts to unravel the man's past, but it lands him smack dab in the crosshairs of Amanda Waller in Task Force X. Uh-oh. Must be something going on there. Amanda, you know, Amanda ain't about up to nothing. Nothing good, but it's all about her. Well, I guess you could look at it and say, so she's paid by the government or something to take out people, or she's like a hidden section of the government and to take out things, problems, and she probably just has... Uh, total control over it. They don't want to know anything about it. Plausible and deniability. Okay, now we got Batman, the audio, the audio adventures, number seven. I'm going to cover. Uh, he doesn't look like he's struggling too much to hold his mouth open, but ouch. You see, this one comes out March 28th. Okay, it's all come down to this. Batman is face to face with a killer croc like he's never seen before. Yeah, if he's that huge, yeah. The Dark Knight will need to find some way to break through Wayland's rage and pull him back from his monster's rampage, or Gotham City will be no more. Why, he's going to be that strong? Wow. Okay, now we got this one here. Is this Black Adam? Yep. Look at the covers. And was this supposed to be Black Adam's son or something? They gave him powers? You got the white costume on and the gold. Let me see, because I've seen some of the covers when I went to the comic book store. I wasn't sure. Okay, this one comes out um, March 21st. Fall of the House of Adam, East of Egypt, Book 2. You see, in the century, in the 24th century BC, having proclaimed himself Pharaoh, the mighty Adam finds himself surrounded by enemies while discovering that holding the throne is a lot harder than seizing it. Hmm. Meanwhile, in the present, those same enemies from the old kingdom now threaten modern-day conduct. As, amid civil unrest, a resurrected, a resurrected Ibak, the invincible conch, conspires with Adam's political rival. So is he must be the, um, I don't know if he's the resurrected, resurrected Ibak. I guess you gotta f find it, buy it to find out. Okay, now we got, um, Blue Beetle, graduation day number five. Hmm. Let's see. This comes out March 28th as well. Superman and Batman 
come looking for Jaime in Palmyra City after weeks of attacks with Blue Beetle directly at the center. The world's finest can't sit by any longer. Okay, what's this one here? Catwoman number 53. Some different covers there. Oh, that's cool. Like a remake of our homage to um, the Batman one where um, Alex Ross drew Batman with his shirt off and everything in the back, all beat up and everything. And then look at that. That's cool. That might be a, just a cover grab right there. I don't know if the story's any good. This comes out March 24th or 21st. The Gotham mob bosses sub suspect that their very own leader, Aiko, of the Hizagawa clan is betraying their code by putting on a Catwoman co a Catwoman suit. Okay, is Gotham big enough for two Catwomen? Catwoman doesn't play well with others, but this is but this cat is going to need the help of of Tom Cat. Uh oh, to stay out of the mob's crosshairs. Hmm. So that's different. Sorry about moving. I got to make sure I hold it. Let's see. This is Danger Street. That looks hurt, hurtful. Book four, Lady Cop. And there's another one here. Variant cover. That's cool. This started out pretty good. I like number one, but I haven't picked up the other ones. I'm going to have to try to get them. Okay, this one uh, comes out March 14th. The hunt for the murderers continues as Lady Cop prepares herself to take down some superhero suspects. But as the case develops, a true killer, Manhunter, emerges as a faithful servant to the green team and their quest for power. Hmm. Only the creeper seems to be on onto these innocent, in quotation mark, kids and starts to uncover a conspiracy. It all begins with a single question. Who are the outsiders? Oh, this is cool cover here. That's cool. Oh, big giant, big giant monster there. Dark Knights of Steel number 10. This seems like to be taking forever to get it all done. Wow, man. Okay, this one uh, comes out March 28th. And the true enemy of the three kingdoms has been revealed. But is the battle already lost, or has the war only just begun? The end game for season one begins. That's a cool cover. I like that when they do that. And then flip it over. Cool. All right, now we got uh, Fables number 159. Cover there. March 21st. A chance encounter between the Wolf Children and Pan escalates into a battle of sky high proportions that'll leave one of them beaten and bruised. But a far worse fate has fallen on the inhabitants of the Black Forest. Casting a shadow of death and destruction that will shake Bigby and Sam to their core. Oh boy. Okay, I I, would, I liked Fables. I had collect. I got a whole run of these and everything. It just it just very awesome stories. Other other than um, having superhero stuff all the time, everything. I like these I like these stories. Bill Wellingham is a good good writer. Okay, this is GCPD the the Blue Wall number six. That's the cover there. Okay, this comes out March 21st. With Gotham City in a state of panic over the recent murders and the GCPD buckling under the weight of the department's connection to the crimes. Uh-oh. Can Police Commissioner Renee Montoya restore peace without crossing the line herself? What price is she willing to pay in order to do what is right? Wow. Okay. Now we got this here. This is more Batman. This is Gotham City Year, year 1, number 6. Cool. There's a different cover there. Okay, this comes out the 7th of March. So that was uh, that's going to be next week. Yeah. Let's see. Uh oh, clear. The brutal, bloody conclusion to, to the year's most acclaimed title is here. Slam Bradley has never feared walking the hard path alone, but even his courage will be tested by the shocking turn of events that will take Gotham City down a dark, violent path. Wow. Always the dark. Okay, now we got uh, Harley Quinn. Oh, God, they made her really green here. Uh, Poison Ivy. Harley Quinn, the animated series Legion of Bats, number six. 
This comes off the 21st. Harley and Ivy's relationship has been stressed, tested in nearly every way over the course of the series. And now, as their adventure comes to a close, we are left with one question. Okay, is their love strong enough to withstand these trials and tribulations? Check out this fan... Sh what the... Fan sham... Sham about bullet... Fan shambulous finale to find out. Okay. Okay, I'm oh, gotta flip the page. Okay, now we got Justice Society of America number five. Cool, Huntress. And she's finally closed off with it, her her outfit. I hate when they show the skin because with the job that she does, no way she'd be dressed like that. She gotta have some Kevlar covering up everything. Wow, I'm surprised her neck is out there to get get some more covering in case, in case she gets shot. Let's see, Justice Society of America, number five. This comes out March 28th. Huntress's journey through time comes to a head as the person chasing her through time, through the timeline, is finally caught up to her. Oh, did he catch up to her, or she kept up to her, or did she let them catch her? We'll see. Is the end of the line, is this... Okay, this they didn't put this. Is this the end of the line for Helena Wayne? He left out this on that one. Okay, I love the cartoons. Look, <laughs> it is funny. Looney Tunes 271. Okay, comes out March 14th. A new four-legged pal joins the fray when Granny agrees to take care of the friends of a friend's large dog while they are away for a week. Uh oh. But will this gentle giant feel quite so welcome when he finds himself stuck in the middle of Sylvester and Tweety's ongoing tricks? <laughs> That's funny. Now we got Mad Alfie Seltzer. Okay, 31. Okay, that comes up, um, let's see, April 11th. That's a little bit early there. America's longest running satire magazine continues to skewer everything pop culture. Okay, now we got. This is Monkey Prince. Yeah, number 12. Comes out the 7th of March. Different covers there. I don't know if this is any good. I got one of the books. I have to flip through it and see if it is. Okay. After the events of Lazarus Planet, Monkey Prince discovers how he is related to the Monkey King. And the truth of who he is shakes him to the core. Okay. Now we got Nightwing. That's a cool cover. I've seen that with Wonder Woman. Like, don't then doing that with Wonder Woman. We got all the variants and everything. This is 102. This comes out the 21st of March. Nightwing is a great leader, not just because Batman trained him, or because of how Alfred raised him, or even because he has a heart of gold. It's because of his friends. And now that the Titans are in Bloodhaven with him, they can leap it into the into the light together, which is a perf which is perfect timing for the demon of darkness, Neron, to do something about it. Wow. Oh, so they're moving to Bloodhaven. That's cool. Hmm. Now we got Poison Ivy number 10. Uh-oh. The Marion covers here. Pretty. Okay, this comes out the 7th of March. Before Ivy embarks on her trip back to Gotham, our verdant villainess sets her sights on a fungus-loving Hollywood celebrity with a lifestyle brand and spa that's raising some major red flags on Ivy's radar. Okay, now we got uh, Punchline and Joker here. All the different variants. Punchline the Gotham Game, number six. This comes out the 28th of March. Return of the Clown Prince, it says. At the moment, Punchline needed him the least. The Joker has returned to interfere with her war to take over as Gotham City's queen of crime. Oh, so she wants to be the queen of crime. See, Harley didn't, doesn't really care about that, but this one, okay. Let's see, did I do that? Yeah, I did these. Okay, let's see what else we got here. The Batman and Scooby-Doo Mysteries, number six. Cool. Comes out March 14th. Batman calls upon his friends in Mystery Inc. for help, and he's shocked that this time they refuse. Uh-oh. 
now we got the Joker, the man who stopped laughing, number six. There's all these weird covers. Wow, man. That one in the center there. Look at that. That looks like Lee Bermijo there. His artwork. Wow. Okay. This comes out March 7th. The Joker's enjoying the sunny, warm weather of Los Angeles so much that he's decided to stay and get involved in local politics. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, now look at these weird covers. Man. The Sandman Universe, Dead Boy Detectives, number four. This comes out March 28th. As Charlie, as Charles begins to weaken and mutate from his terrifying permanent and possibly mortal wounds, Edwin and the other ghost kids chase down every possible lead to save him, but only find dead ends. Man. Okay, now we got Robin here. Tim Drake, Robin number seven. This comes out March 28th. A new dawn rises on Tim Drake in the Gotham Arena as a new chapter of Robin's story begins. But how long can this sense of calm last with a certain someone still roaming free in Gotham? Wow. Okay, now we got Wildcats number five. That's a cool cover. And some variants over here. You, look at Grifter with a bubble gun. Blowing bubbles. This comes out March 14th. Like two trains colliding, it's the Wildcats versus the seven soldiers in a bloody heavyweight fight. Okay, now we got Fear State, Batman Fear State Saga. Cool. This comes out March 18th. I mean, April 18th. Uh, let's see, it's soft cover. Okay, the definitive Fear State collection is here. Gotham City is on the brink of martial law as Batman fights a two-front battle. Okay. Let's see what we got next. A couple more pages, looks like. Okay, Catwoman. Volume 2, Cat Inter International. Okay. This comes out uh, May 2nd. The Cat Goes International. i try to go a little faster just to get these through. Future State Gotham, Volume 3, Batman, Batman at War. Okay, this one comes out um, April 11th. The rumor, the rumors regarding Bruce, Bruce's death have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> okay, now we got Justice League, Volume 1, Prisms. Cool cover. They got some great artists, man. Wow. This comes out April 18th. We need to get new voices in here. Some disruption, some disruption, some dissent. To face ever-changing threats while upholding their promise to dispense justice, the Justice League must evolve. Okay, now they got Justice League. Again, and what's, what's he doing with all these things? Black Adam, League of Chaos. Okay, this is Brian Michael Bendis doing it. Uh, this one's May 2nd. Okay. The Justice League and Justice League Dark team up to navigate the remade world of chaos. Hmm. All right. Now we got Legends of the Dark Knight. Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Love his artwork. This is um, April 18th. Let's see. Uh, 472 pages. Wow. Okay, that's legendary artist Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Definitive Batman tales are collected for the first time in a single volume. It's a hardcover. Hmm. You can see all these if you pause it there. It's a lot of them. Okay, now we got um, Superman, Son of kal -El, Volume 1, The Truth. Comes out uh, April 11th. I like the cover, really cool. Jonathan Kent, the son of Clark Kent and Lois Lane, is the new Man of Steel. When his father leaves Earth, John becomes the new Superman, striving to be a champion of real change. Okay. Let's see. We've got Phantom, Stranger, Omnibus. Oh, that's wild. 
that comes out August 22nd. That's a far away from now. Wow. First introduced in 1952, the Phantom Stranger stands as one of DC's most enigmatic characters, a supernatural hero shrouded in mystery. Okay, now we have Top 10 Compendium. I love that cover. This comes out March, uh, I mean, April 11th. Alex Ross cover, that's cool. Okay, this one's from writer Alan Moore and artist Gene Ha. Comes a sci fi epic following the exploits of the police officers of Precinct 10 or Top 10 as they contend with science villains and super crimes in the vast city of Neapolis and beyond. It's a soft cover, it looks like. Okay, that looks like that's it. These are all just a checklist of different things that you want to pick up. And there's a lot of them. Wow. And this is cool. I've got to see this show. Let me know what you think about the show on here. This Titans book story. Or seasons. On their, Mayhem is in their blood, it says. The Titans. It looks cool. That's it. And there's Shazam on the back here. <laughs> this looks like... I hope this is going to be good. I don't know. We'll see. It looks like it's going to be good. It's funny. I like him. Okay. But that's it. Let me know what you think. You guys have a great day. And Collector Dude is out.